Hello once again. My name is Negative Legend, and I'm here to answer the question, what happened to Duel Masters? Duel Masters was a moderately well-known card game utilizing five different tribes in PvP-style gameplay. Duel Masters is also a series of manga originally released in Japan spanning from May 1999 to October 2013. It was largely believed that Duel Masters was a ripoff of Yu-Gi-Oh, seeing as there are so many similarities in the premise, and the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh's manga release was in 1997, three years before the first publication of Duel Masters. The anime series originally premiered in Japan on October 21st, 2002, and wasn't brought to the United States until 2004 on Cartoon Network's Toonami Block. The plot centered around Shobu Kirifuda, who was a young boy who liked to play card games. He believed in dueling for fun as opposed to simply winning. He and a few other main characters are known to bring the monsters on the cards to life in their duels. Shobu engages in this card game so that he can be the best duelist like his father was. Three video games were released in English on the PlayStation 2 called Duel Masters, and the Game Boy Advance called Duel Masters Kaijudo Showdown and Duel Masters Senpai Legends. Wizards of the Coast, the same company that produces Magic the Gathering, picked up the license from Reality Simulations Incorporated to bring the game and anime adaptation to the United States. The English language printing of the TCG ran from DM-01 base set on May 5, 2004, until DM-12 Thrash of the Hybrid Mega Creatures in November 2006. From an outside perspective, it is believed that Hasbro instructed Wizards of the Coast to purchase the license in order to compete with the rise of Japanese children's trading card games, in order to rival the increasingly popular Yu-Gi-Oh! After giving it a good attempt, Wizards of the Coast realized that they couldn't compete with the popularity of Yu-Gi-Oh!, and decided to discontinue localizing the cards and anime in 2006 after the 12th expansion. The game is still active in Japan, with regular product being produced, but we're probably never going to see that back in America. Wizards of the Coast eventually attempted to revitalize the Duel Masters franchise, but instead called it Kaijudo in order to try to avoid any prior stigma. Except for when they called the TV show Kaijudo Rise of the Duel Masters. That also failed and faded into obscurity as the card game that everyone saw through and knew it wasn't going to stick. Kaijudo ended in 2004, only two years after its initial print run. Wizards of the Coast has not officially stated why they ended the game. Everyone just kind of assumes they made bad business decisions, and the player base saw it as a second attempt at Duel Masters and wasn't anything original. Kaijudo had a cartoon series along with the card game. The show's first season was titled Kaijudo Rise of the Duel Masters. The second season, which premiered on June 21st, 2013, on the Hub Network, was titled Kaijudo Clash of the Duel Masters. The Hub Network didn't pick up a third season, but the storyline of the show continued through the official Kaijudo website and the card game releases until August 29th, 2014, ending on a cliffhanger. The official website closed on December 3rd, 2014. Finding information for this video was surprisingly difficult. Usually I go to a dedicated Reddit and ask others who would most likely have more knowledge than I do, but even they were pretty lost. Anna Gleco stated, I'm not sure, I guess it depends on the country you're in. From where I am, it ended when a new TV series about other type of card games appeared. Aqua995 stated, Well, around the first six expansions or so, it was more popular than Yu-Gi-Oh! in Germany. It seemed to be the next big card game, but was more like a flavor of the year. Right now, I think this game is by far the best out of all card games, at least from the old mechanics I know. The Reddit also had a little blurb detailing, Duel Masters is one of the most exciting and best-selling trading card games in Japan, supported by a weekly television anime, as well as a very popular manga, featured in Shoga Kuken's Kotokoto magazine, which has over a million monthly readers. The Duel Masters storyline follows the exploits of Shobu Kirifuda and his friends as they compete in Duel Masters tournaments at the highest levels using mind-blowing creature cards. So, I found some images of Kotokoto magazine and comics, and it seems to hold true. There's an article from the Anime News Network released in February of 2017 showing an announcement for a new protagonist and animated series for Duel Masters. The article states, 
The Duel Master staff revealed information on the next installments in the manga and anime franchise at an event on Friday. The new manga will begin in the next issue of Shogakukan's Korokoro Comics on February 15th, and the new anime will premiere in April. Both will simply be titled Duel Masters. The cards for the game has seen radical changes since its American release. Now the company has favored utilizing the entire card for the artwork with overlaid text, a very common trend among Japanese card games nowadays. I managed to find a Discord server from DuelMasters.org where a group of dedicated players still converse about the game. They call themselves Duel Masters Reborn, and when asked about this subject, this is what they had to say. Enigma Fiend stated, Well, the fall of Duel Masters in the United States is still on conflicting reasons. The best possibility was the general decline of the anime, though most claim it to be bomb bazaar. It was merely the turning point. Duel Masters was majorly failing in the US, as it had no proper set of restrictions and had less rules compared to the OCG in Japan. This led to many overpowered decks being made that were impossible to counter and many good cards became unusable. Every deck aimed at a 3-5 turn kill. I guess that caused people to lose interest due to a lack of creative choices. In my opinion, the OCG is, and was, better with better rule enforcement and is the reason Duel Masters is still alive in Japan today. Zero Vash stated, It's more or less generic, and anyone can contribute why it ended. Although, unless you know one of the suits at Wizards of the Coast, you won't ever know the real answer as to why Duel Masters ended. I think, at the time, they said not enough sales, but that can also mean not enough interest, not enough sales margins, not the correct target audience, it's stealing from Magic the Gathering's consumer base instead of cementing the new one. ELTP stated, Nobody knows the real reason outside of Wizards of the Coast. Companies are not too eager to specify what exactly went wrong. It might be just that they stopped hitting their sale milestones, not making enough profit for the shareholders. Promotion has also clearly been problematic for them. Decreased sales must be the reason. DM-01 might have been selling like hotcakes, but the final few sets probably didn't sell all that well, and the prices for those cards have skyrocketed in recent few years. Around 2005 was a series of books surrounding Duel Masters released by Scholastic. One of my friends just so happened to be a huge fan of Duel Masters, and still has one of the books. He let me borrow it, and I scanned every page, and I refitted every JPEG to its appropriate size, and created a PDF that's probably available to download in the description below. I don't know, maybe. That could be copyright infringement, or it may not be there because they told me, hey, take that away, how dare you? Mm -hmm. If it's not there, it's most likely on a Discord server. Mm -hmm. As with all old games that has a hardcore fan base, there are still cards being sold online as of the recording of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support this channel and more videos like this one, then consider checking out my Patreon. Links are in the description below. Stay beautiful and keep playing. Hey, cheer up. I think some groovy tunes may be just what the doctor ordered to snap us out of this nasty funk.